From a plastic surgeon to the next governor of Kansas, Lieutenant Governor Jeff Collier is just days away from being sworn in, but he's still performing surgeries. New at 10 o'clock, 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey sat down with Collier's co-worker about his upcoming job. You know, he's Jeff. He's, he'll still just be Jeff. As a manager at the Dermatology and Skin Cancer Center in Overland Park, Delpha Hutton has known Jeff Collier for over 20 years. I wouldn't have been with him this long if he isn't easy to work with. The plastic surgeon she describes as easygoing, now just days away from being formally sworn in as governor of Kansas. He's a problem solver, so he, you know, he can, he makes decisions quickly. <laughs> After years of treating all sorts of injuries, Hutton says Collier has developed a strong presence in the operating room. When you're um, in the middle of a surgery, you can't stop and think about what should I do now? You have to you have to make decisions and go on. Hutton says Collier has displayed certain characteristics while working as a plastic surgeon here in Overland Park that she expects will carry over well to being governor of Kansas. With plastic surgeons often working through stressful situations, Hutton believes Collier will be ready to be governor. Listening and problem solving, I would think it would be really similar. With his swearing in now just days away and big issues like finalizing a budget and school funding facing Collier, Hutton hopes Kansans see the man she knows well. I think they need to know he's approachable and he'll care about what their interests are. I'm sure he won't have be able to please everyone. In Overland Park, Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News. Governor Sam Brownback announced his last day will be Wednesday, January 31st at 3 p.m. After that, Lieutenant Governor Collier will take over.